What's up guys, I'm Petstrol Dudes and today I'm going to show you a video that will go through how to customize and beautify your Android device. Now this is good for all tablets, all phones, this is a pretty general overview of the three main categories of things you can change to beautify your Android device and customize it and get it exactly how you want it. So here on my home screen I have it customized in a way that um, I think looks pretty nice. I wouldn't say it's the most gorgeous ever, but this is a way I like. It's practical. I have the apps I want on the front page. I have another page and another page over here. So I have all the apps I want here, and um, and then obviously I have my dock on the bottom, and I got rid of everything else because I kind of like this minimalistic design. So there's um, three or four different main categories of things you need to acquire to make your own theme, and I'll walk through everything. I'll have probably four different videos uh, going very thoroughly through the different aspects of it. So if you're interested in any one part of this beautifying video, um, feel free to just check out the, it'll be in the description. All right, so first off, to make all of this happen is something called a launcher. Now, when you get your phone, you when you hit your home button, it goes to your launcher. And this is different from iOS and uh, previous operating systems because you can actually change the launcher. So when I hit the home button, actually, it goes to a, a launcher called Nova, which I'll have a video on, obviously, uh, detailing kind of how it works and everything uh, in the description. But it opens up my launcher, so if I hit the home button, it automatically goes to the Nova home screen, which is this. And you can get different launchers. And Nova is one of the best in the market, so that's just the one I'm using as an example. But there there are many different ones. So I'm using Nova here. And instead of, uh, if you have Samsung, you come with TouchWiz. If you have HTC, it's a, a Sense UI. And if it's LG, uh, it's I forgot what the LG one was. But there's different like launchers and different themes that the... Um, that the manufacturer gives you to, that comes with the phone. So all right, I'm running on a Samsung S4, so it's going to come with the TouchWiz interface. But I use Nova because I like the launcher better. So what the launcher includes, so I'll open up the launcher settings just so you can get a quick look. Launcher um, basically comes with uh, customizing your desktop, like like your grid, all the different things about your apps. And like I said, I'll go through this more in detail in, in a separate video so you can really get a good feel for it. We have your app drawer and widgets. Uh, we have your dock, folders, look and feel, which you can like change the size of icons and stuff. Um, you can you, gesture, so like if I slide up on my home screen, it opens up my settings. Um, unread uh, badges, uh, you can back up, you can even back it up, which is pretty sweet. So like for example, I, I went to the beta, this is the beta. Um, from the old version, I just hit backup, I backed up my file my basically my entire layout for my desktop and when I upgraded it I could just re-get it all so it it basically go to this exact same theme that I'm using right now so that's what a launcher is then the next thing you can do is get something called icon packs now these you can find from the Google Play Store and it's basically your um your icons you can see here uh, can be changed and as you see I have an icon pack that makes all my icons round and flat now there are different types of icon packs as I can show you real quick so here I'm opening up one of my favorite um one of my favorite icon packs called Lumos. And if I and the first thing that pops up is these are all different launchers. So I have Nova. So if I click that, it's gonna apply the Lumos icon pack to all of my icons I have. So if I go back here, you can see it applied the Lumos theme to my icons. And um obviously you see that there are some that aren't applied to. Now the reason those haven't changed like the uh, the Tom's hardware or the folder or the pencil, the, the, like these haven't changed because I have custom set them. And that is something I'll go through on the icon tutorial video. All right, so the third thing you're gonna want to customize your Android device are widgets. Now, widgets have come a long way since the early uh, beginning stages of Android and the new Lollipop iteration, they tend to be take up less RAM, they tend to, um, be just better overall, use less battery, all that good stuff, which is an awesome improvement from where they used to be. So widgets are significantly better than they used to be. So um, first, before I get into the custom widgets, everyone um, in a lot of your installed apps, like whether it be Facebook, whether it be your messaging app, whether it be YouTube, you, go, you usually come with a, a number of widgets that you already have installed. So to add them all, it's pretty similar across all launchers. And this is different per launcher, but for Nova, you basically hold down on the home screen, then select widgets, and then you get to choose a widget. So here I'll choose my Apollo Music Launcher, 
So, so something pretty simple. So I'll hold it and just drag it onto the grid over there and say create. Now that we've done that, we basically created our music launcher. So now we can play our songs and whatnot. So also you can resize it. Now, like I, like I said before, this is specific to your launcher. So depending on how your launcher handles widgets, widgets you're able to do certain things with it. And just, just as easily, once you're done, you can remove the widget. So that's cool. You have widgets for a lot of things, like I said before, Facebook. You also have a clean master widget, like I already customized into my widget here, so it'll clean my RAM. So that's that's a pretty cool feature. And then to get your custom widgets, there's a, like, like their launchers, there's a number of different things you can use to get free widgets. And the one I'm using is called Zooper. So here you'll go to the app called Zooper. And um, like I said, this is going to be a whole nother video, so uh, don't worry if it looks pretty confusing here. S but basically, in the essence of it is you can create your own widget like this by editing all different elements and everything of it. So it's super cool. And for this widget, I didn't create it all by myself. I downloaded someone else that made widgets, and then I custom just tweaked it and customized it. Like I changed the colors on it. I added the, the how amount of free memory I have. So you can so I'll go, I'll go through all of that in the video, but it's really cool because then I can have this custom widget that I like precisely to my liking. And if I say hmm, I don't like the color of that yellowish orange color, I want to make it a little bit brighter. Then you can just an easy fix. You can change the colors, change anything about the widgets. It's customized exactly how you want it. There's a whole number of features for that. So look forward to that in the video. Now the fourth and last thing to customizing your Android phone, you may notice this maybe a little bit already, is something, this is this actually requires you to root it, your device, and get the exposed installer. Now this I will go through on the video again. Now with this, you can install something called Gravity Box. Now I'll show you what it looks like here. Uh, it looks like just as like this icon, Gravity Box. So this, again, has a ton of different customizable features, which I'll be going through in the video. Now, amongst other things, I'll just kind of show you an example. If I lock my device and unlock it real quick, you can see on my uh, thing, you can see that there's a battery symbol, like right around that middle symbol. Also, if I hold down on my lock screen on that little symbol, it, it turns on my flashlight, like you can see in the upper left-hand corner, which is really, really nice and handy. It's just a quick way to turn off and on your flashlight. Um, so I, I even I haven't got into the huge depth of things yet. But another cool thing is if you're installing an app, I got it so it'll actually sh like on the top status bar area, it'll actually have like a bar that goes across as it downloads the app. So it has all kinds of super cool functionality. Um, you can also customize your uh your settings here to uh be transparent. It'll show. It'll show everything. So this one is more like under the hood tweaks. You can even like customize buttons. So if I tap my my menu key twice, it actually pulls up my multitasking bar, which is which is pretty awesome. Or if you want to hit your home button twice, like you're used to Apple products, like I was at first, then you can do that. So when you double tap your home button, it pulls up that. So there's all kinds of really really cool tweaks you can do. And I'll go much further into that. That this one by far and away has the most. Um, customization available to it but this is another thing you can do to beautify and to simplify and to customize your Android to get the full potential out of it and this is the beauty of Android and overall um, this this last tweak will is like the more advanced user thing there's like a lot of hidden features that I haven't even looked at yet but we'll go through those in the video so I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of how to customize and beautify your Android device um, hopefully the overview is enough to so you understand the different parts of customizing an Android device because it is very much different than Apple devices or anything you may be used to. So uh, feel free to watch videos of any of the things you're interested in. Some things are easier than others like the icon themes and the launcher are, are relatively simple. But I'll go through all the different settings and features in them. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like and thank you for watching.